Welcome back from your community brainstorm session. I hope you had a chance to hear a lot of interesting ideas and meet new people from across the energy storage community. We heard throughout the day's sessions that there's a lot of excitement around specific pieces within these five sectors that may not have been visible due to the interdisciplinary nature of these challenges. But we were also seeing a few gaps we might fill together. We're gonna to continue building these ecosystems for these and other end use cases, engaging even more policymakers, researchers, community members, private companies, and government agencies to help us get to and beyond our milestones. So on the first day, I promised that this summit was not gonna be just a one-off. We're gonna to look to continue to build this talented and motivated community by taking this conversation forward. To that end, we'll be using our discussions on the battery supply chain from the first day to draft a report that will help advance the goals and objectives of the National Lithium Blueprint. And we'll share that with all of you by email once it's complete. We'll also be looking for other ways to bring members of this community together again. In particular, the Berkeley Lab Energy Storage Center will be working to host smaller, more specialized workshops in collaboration with others based on where we heard the most excitement and opportunity space on day two. So thanks for sharing your ideas on next steps during the community brainstorm. In the meantime, stay tuned for a post-summit email in the next week or whenever we come back up for air. We're gonna provide info about how you can submit proposals to the $20,000 Summit Collaboration Seed Fund. And we'll announce our lucky raffle winners as well. We'll also send information on how you can access recordings of most of the summit sessions, including the interviews with astronaut Caleb Barron and with Energy Secretary Granholm and General Motors CEO Mary Barra, along with all of the panels. You'll also receive more info on our new virtual energy storage field trip seminar series, Exploring the World Unplugged, The Secret Life of Energy Storage, that we think will be just as amazing as the one we took to the International Space Station. As Director Weatherall said in his opening remarks, this is truly a fortuitous time for us to convene the summit, but we need to find new ways to come together to avail ourselves of the tremendous opportunities coming out of government and industry so that we can advance towards our collective goal. This is an all hands on deck moment. We need to tap into the rich diversity of talent and ex experience and expertise from across the energy storage ecosystem so that we can learn from one another and build collaborations that lead to the innovations that this national challenge requires. We hope that this summit has offered you a way to do that. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the announcement of who won the pitch fest. Thank you to the audience for casting your votes. So I wish I had a drum roll for the award for highest potential impact, we actually had a tie. Congratulations first to Alex Zorniger, Vice President of Business Development and Power to Hydrogen, and his talk, Long Duration Energy Storage with Reversible Fuel Cells. Equally, congrats to Jason Cottrell, founder and CEO at Arcam Technologies for his talk, 3D Concrete Printed Subsea Pumped Hydroelectric Storage. And for our final award category for best presentation, drum roll please, Congratulations to Dula Parkinson, Deputy for Photon Science Operations at the Advanced Light Source at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab for his presentation titled X-ray Vision into Energy Storage. Congratulations to all three of our winners for this inaugural National Energy Storage Summit Pitch Fest. Before we close, I wanna thank the over 100 distinguished speakers who have helped us to lay out not only the challenges but also the solutions that are within our reach and those that we must strive for. It's been an inspiring two days. And my special thanks to all of the people from across DOE and beyond who served as panel moderators, lightning speakers, and roundtable and brainstorm facilitators. And an acknowledgement that executing the summit was an immense team effort. First, thanks to Director Michael Witherell for providing the initial vision for this summit. Heartfelt thanks to those committees and teams that made this a reality to our platform team at Social 27 and all of those who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make this happen. And my personal gratitude to the three women without which this would not have been possible, Margaret Dick, Evren Esner, and Marianne Fives. So with that, audience members, thank you for spending the last two days with us and I officially declare this inaugural National Energy Storage Summit at an end. Now let's get to work, discover, develop, and deploy. Thank you.